and welcome to another simple aviation documentary. Um, we're going real hard with documentaries. If you seen it around a week ago, um, it was all on fleets of airlines. Now we're starting to go into the kind of longer documentaries on quite um, um, no, 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 that we've done the best reviews on aircraft part one. Um, and this is reviews on aircraft part two, and we'll keep on adding installments to um, the uh, series. So, um, the best reviews on aircraft as of 2021. At the end of this video, you'll be able to see that, and we'll give you more information on how to. So, our first one is Brussels Airlines. A320. Now, um, Hell, I think um, he was a um, um, so um, Brussels is obviously in Belgium, it's the capital of Belgium, and um, Hell, who um, was a comic, um, a comic illustrator, um, and he wrote the famous Tintin series, and um, he as a tribute to the Belgian comic um, creator, um, Brussels Airlines creator specifically. So, um, moving on now, now COVID, um, while well, COVID has, uh, you know, affected us all um, in some way or the other, and so it's also affected airlines and, you know, to promote wearing masks and stuff and um, just to have a bit of fun in a way. Um, you can see uh, this is a Garuda Indonesia A330 Neo um, where masks have been painted on onto the nose, quite a creative idea. We've also seen this on a Pabida 737. And um, United um, Workers also put a proper, just a one-time use, a massive mask on their 787, but that's not a livery, that's kind of a cheating thing, but yeah, we've managed to squeeze it in. And we've also got the Cargo Lux um, 747 with a mask here, I think this one is quite nice, but um, I'd say my favourite would probably be the Garuda Indonesia mask. Um, but yeah, the Cargo Lux mask also looks nice in the 747, um, all on the nose and not without my mask, is that livery. Moving on, we have the Dutch KM Royal Dutch Airlines, orange pride livery. Now, orange is the um, colour of the Netherlands, um, and you can see on the, ne the Dutch team cricket jersey, I think, and it's also on this livery to you know, celebrate the Netherlands in general, and it's a nice... And you know, blue is also another big color of the Netherlands. And so it's all together just a nice livery representing the Netherlands. Nice fade of colors in between there, and nice color selection. And this bit of the aircraft is literally just a, the normal livery. And it's nice how it's blended in with the orange, and it's a nice swoop there. I do kind of like this to see painted on all of the islands, I think. But I think that might be good. Uh, I think it might look good up on, on basically all of but, you know, we'll see. Um, moving on, we have the BEA A319. Now, obviously, British Airways is the result of lots of mergers of airlines and stuff. And so BEA was one of those airlines and um, to celebrate their 100th anniversary, um, British Airways. And so quite a couple of commemorative liveries that British Airways put up. Um, they put the Negus um, livery 747, um, and the Negus one is not this one, but this one. The Landor livery, which is probably my favourite out of them all, is this one. And um, obviously, they have the BEA 319. I can't really imagine like the BEA livery. Um, they had the British Airways Landor 747, as I said. Um, and the British Airways Negus 747. Um, and all of these aircraft were um, just normal 747 400s. They weren't like some really old aircraft or something. Um, they were. And um, all of these um, aircraft were retired, and, but they um, have not been scrapped. They are in museums. Now, moving on, we've had a lot of retro deliveries currently, just with those British Airways ones. In. We also have a Air Canada one, um, and this one is Trans Canada Airlines, which is what Air Canada, and as I said, you know, it's gone through a lot of emergency and stuff to create this Air Canada, and it's a nice salute to the um, previous airlines um, that Air Canada was, and, um, and I think it's a nice deep grey, nice retro kind of style to it, 
and uh, yeah, and um, we're gonna have another retro livery again, um, but it's not a completely retro livery. So here we have Jet Blue's livery. Okay, so I know most of you are scratching your heads and being like, Jet Blue hasn't even been around for twenty years. Why on earth does it have a retro livery? Well, the design team was kind of just wanting to promote um travel and you know like um the 1960s was a big year for a, the, the big decade for aviation and you know um JetBlue design team wanted to give the um aircraft a nice look and give it like a retro kind of look and show people what they might have looked like um around 60 years ago and not just that well i've also got a video for you guys to watch of how they've changed the livery of the aircraft and you know the cabin crew um got new retro uniforms so i'll be showing you that and that's coming right up so this is um jet blues video so so um this is jet blues um um recording um video and i'll be showing you that So these are the badges and the uniforms, and so um, the cabin crew are being transformed literally. Um, and yeah, they they get retro uniforms, um, as you can see there. Um, this is a plane. This was just a normal JetBlue AP20, um, and it's gone into a paint shop, guys. Um, and yeah, they're um, getting transformed into the retro thing. Everything's getting retro, and actually up here we can see there's JetBlue have made themselves a kind of older logo um so this is the aircraft in the paint shop being transformed um and yeah just um and yeah there it is coming out of the paint shop and nice colors actually there um i i don't really um like the orange in there but um yeah um nice shiny look for the um paint from the paint shop for this jet blue a320 and we get all of the um, cabin crew um, with their retro uniforms and this is a celebration of the first flight with the retro uniforms and the retro livery and um yeah um kind of like an event big event and yeah everybody's getting retro uniforms who's working for jet blue here and there it is parked up at the gate um now we're gonna move on on to our next one so this one um livery now on the 787 it's an aboriginal livery and um, with all the aboriginal art it really looks nice guys um and it's a nice nod to the aboriginal people of australia um and look at those nice aboriginal patterns looks pretty good on the 787 i like how that tail design just merges in into those aboriginal art patterns moving on we have the a340 and it and I, i've forgotten which airline it belongs to it doesn't even belong to like a passenger airline um and it has thank you nhs art here and nhs is the national health service of the united kingdom and um i'm pretty sure that the national health service is doing a pretty good job um handling covid so um that's a nice salute to the um key workers um in the united kingdom and nice red um and blue on the aircraft to um show support for the nhs and we've also just and uh, we've had the um thank you key workers thing and now it's also on a delta aircraft here um thank you to and um you'll see um actually this was not the background that it that the aircraft was originally in i photoshopped it out of it um i think it was because it was too blurry or something so um yeah i think the photoshop has come out pretty well um but anyway out of photoshop context thank you delta key workers um and whoever working for delta so that's um a really nice thing and you know covid workers are working there um hats off and yeah um so um that's it from us guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel please that would be amazing um here you can subscribe to the channel um if you want to look at more great liveries you can um click here and if you want to see how low-cost carriers operate here 
and um do us a favor and please do subscribe guys it would make our day thank you and we'll catch you in the next one goodbye